Icons are defined as being symbols that bring to light certain qualities. And one man in Tallahassee wears that definition well. He was a leader, a teacher, a pioneer, and a symbol of making a difference. That's why Freeman Lawrence is an African-American icon. Each day that students of different races sit side by side, it's a tribute to Freeman Lawrence, a man who just wanted to see people learn. A close family friend said his childhood made him what he was. Of course, you know, you got to have a good foundation from somebody. I really feel like um, a lot of his being really was just in his development from childhood. Lawrence was born in the Chairs community in 1918, one of 11 children. He graduated from Old Lincoln High School in 1938 and started college at FAMU. He was drafted into World War II, but his heart was always in Tallahassee with Thelma Gaines, a girl he met in high school. During the war, they stayed in constant contact. We had that connection. When he was in the service, you wouldn't believe this, but we wrote, a, wrote each other every day. Every day, we never missed a day. Now, when the war ended, Freeman came back to school on a mission. He married Thelma in 1943, and together they spent the rest of his life educating students in the Big Bend. He started his teaching career in Live Oak, then over to Quincy. Finally, in 1951, he ended up in Leon County as a principal. We were always trying to do something that we could help children or adults. It didn't make any difference. The Lawrences never had any children of their own, but there are generations of students who affectionately looked at the Lawrences as Uncle Freeman and Aunt Thelma. They taught at a time of political change in America, where courts were mandating desegregation in the South. Their contribution was focused with a gentle determination toward one goal, education. They knew that would break down barriers. We didn't have much to work with, but whatever we had, we tried to make the best of it. And that's what they did, the best. Freeman Lawrence wanted people around him to be successful as well. Mm -hmm. okay. Because I remember him when we had the Florida State Teachers Association, which was the Black Teachers Association. Mm -hmm. And he was always there to encourage and to help us to come up with ideas and programs that would strengthen the teachers. Now, the Lawrences were serious about education, but they were involved socially. Mrs. Lawrence with her sorority, Sigma Gamma Rho, and Mr. Lawrence with his fraternity, Kappa Alpha Psi. Now, a fellow fraternity brother said that even in his community involvement, he meant business. Whereas he was active, always active in financial with the fraternity, he didn't always come to a lot of the activities, the social activities. Uh, brothers will say that, uh, Freeman don't have time for that. He's over there at that church. He's, he's over there doing something at the church. Freeman don't have time for that. But, but he and them will be at the Sweetheart Affair. He and Mrs. Lawrence were married for over 70 years, and it was a love they shared to the end. From the time she come in and said, Freeman, he looks and he will follow her with his eyes. Just follow her with his eyes the whole time. And she's whopping, and she's patting, and she's mooching, smooching, and she's getting... I mean, you know, I mean, these people, you know what I mean? 70 years. I believe he was the man that I needed to marry and wanted to marry real bad. <laughs> he meant the world to me, and I believe he meant quite a bit to others. He and Mrs. Lawrence showed us how to love, but most importantly, through education, he showed us how to live. Lawrence passed away quietly in December at age 95. He was still telling stories, fiercely loving his wife, and still looking forward to the promises of the future. Right now, the National Association for the Preservation of African American History and Culture has a petition online to have a school or a building named for him. They say that seeing that structure would be an everlasting tribute to the legacy of Freeman Lawrence, an African American icon.